look what just arrived from Brushy Mountain, the favored bee supplier of Savannah Bee, as according to the gentleman at the Wilmington Island store. So, what should be in here is a bunch of plastic frames and a cardboard wax coated box. I am so happy. We've got swarm catching equipment. Yay! We packed it up good. All right, here is one, two, three, four, five wax coated plastic frames. You can see the little drips of plastic on them. We put that on a piece of paper. Oh, oh, that's part of the box. This is part of the frame support for the nuke that I bought. I thought it was going to be wood, but it's it's cardboard instead, so that's all right. It's hard to tell from the picture. Oh, there go the frames. Oh, this is exciting. Look at that. All right. Those are normal frames. And then I asked for... <laughs> Show all my information. Uh, yeah, life cycle chart. So I should have this is this is what I really needed to do any instruction for people was the life cycle chart of the bee. Details all the days that they spend in the little cells growing up. And I think that's about what I got. Uh, let's see, up oh, and the two drone frames. So we're going a little bit a little bit kooky on the on this with the uh, I'm gonna put in four normal frames I guess the lure I forgot the lure is coming with the other order so this is gonna be just setting up the box with a drone frame four of these and I have then I have one extra for whether they don't like the drone and the idea is and out of all my coleslaw beekeeping, as is what somebody said I was doing, not having my own bees, I was just taking everybody's word for it. So I've always wanted to try it this way, where I have the two, dr two drone frames to have one in the hive, and the treatment-free mite theory is that you can then freeze that one after it's filled up, and replace it with another new drone frame and then switch off and have them fill it up and you're taking the mites out of the the life cycle. The life cycle of the mites likes drone and we're not sure why yet um, but if you can interrupt it you can freeze them out and have the bees clean up the frame later and uh, constantly lower the mite count in a natural way rather than d resorting to the other items. So we'll, I'll take a break here. I'm going to put together the, pla the plastic coated nuke box and I'll have another uh, little segment here on how well I like what I've been sent as a nuke box. So this is exciting. I did order one lure from them. Maybe I ordered the lure from them, and I just ordered frames from uh, Kelly B. So I'll be able to set this up and see what happens. There we go. What I didn't remember until a second ago was that I had fancy Nancy stuff to move my camera onto. So here we go. We've got a plastic coated, wax coated new top. Maybe I should have given this a little more of a bend before I go bending it. It's like it's a lot like these uh, file boxes from uh, Staples, where the lid folds up and makes a little uh, lid out of one piece by folding into tabs. So we're gonna coax this over. So we get that same sort of lid and the tabs. You see what I'm showing you? The tabs fold into the tabs. So 
little persuasion. It's it's uh, remarkably uh, a little heavier coating than I thought I'd get out of it, and it's uh, dark on the inside here. So a little persuasion. Just I'm so excited. I can't be. Wax coated. Give me some good footage. So I'm using. Okay, so there. This is where we should have read the instructions. <laughs> where are those instructions? They are like the cell, uh, the uh, file boxes. Gotta put my. Well, let's see. Snap a picture. Basic method for. I can't see the way to flip my camera around, so. New plastic. No space withdrawn. Oh, so this is like. Do not get disappointed if at first you have a little trouble getting your bees to accept and draw on the new plastic frame and foundation. Try variations of the above methods, be creative, and remember colonies should be strong and healthy. It is difficult to get bees to draw a new comb if they are under stress. On yeah, colonies must be on flow, natural, or if you feed them, they do not produce wax without having a type of carbohydrate coming in. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, makes sense. Now what I've got here, here we go, here's the neat assembly of instructions and some screen. I guess we're allowed to have some screen <sighs> to block off the entrance or the top or something. Okay, folding the cover, I think we did inner cover, frame rest, two screens, new outer cover. Oh, that's the inner cover. Ah, okay, so let me grab up. Very cleanly, cleanly uh, packaged in plastic to get to the instructions. <laughs> I feel like I'm an Alaska person. I'm pulling apart the plastic to save the plastic. Oh, my frugal German grand ancestors are all laughing at me right now. There we go. I don't know. We're, we're on to this thing where I'm just following my heritage. I think my family farmers might have had bees way back in the day. Wow, that is sharp. That's why they covered it. It's pokey. Pokey sharp. All right. All right. What am I doing wrong with the bottom? Down and 
also provide ventilation through these holes. Sorry about the birds. I really shouldn't have done this in the room with the birds. Okay, so this goes go. Yeah, that's a little bit of a best on the market. That's ventilation, and they say it's going to hold you, you know, hold it up to prevent the bees from going anywhere. And it slides down to block off the vent and the bottom to help you move the bees even more. Oh, oh my goodness. Place smells like beeswax. Alright, so my plan. Here's the plan. It's a tight fit. Okay, now we go. Now we start to get some support for holding that screen up. And to spare with. It's a tight fit. I don't know. I... Was all gung ho a minute ago. There isn't any there isn't any space on the end get around in. Interesting. Well, let's see a little bit more of the space there. The frame racks are certainly more durable than the ones that I'm happy with that. These frame cardboard frame rests on the inside do make it look like it's going to last a little bit longer than some of the other ones. I'm just having trouble getting these plastic frames in. We might try it again with the other wood frames when they arrive. Because it's digging into that cardboard. Hmm. they got to go straight in. Man, that is a little bit tricky on this end piece. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have these in here. <laughs> it's not, it needs some persuasion. So there you have it. Oh, I mess around with that last frame that wants to go cardigopus. frames about. Oh. This one wants to just draw off onto the side and they're not hanging straight down. Oh. Damn. Uh. Well, I wouldn't use this for anything more than a swarm catcher at this point. If you had bees in this, if you were trying to give this to somebody, you'd be, you'd be squawking at it. All right. Whew. All right. Well, I don't know. Go put a lure inside and find out. <laughs> and I misplaced the inner cover right here. Uh -huh. Well, this 
This is interesting. Isn't it? I don't know. B space? Eh, nine out of ten, but. Wait, and the other, to say, the, the bottom isn't attached, and the screen is now over the entrance. That wouldn't make me a, that bee wouldn't go in there if they tried. Slide up, slide up, and open the bee space. Oh. It is what it is, I'm guessing. It's, if you want to be cheap about keeping your bees, Somebody a nuke for cheap is eight bucks. Actually, get 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 fiddled with it before you go putting everything in it. Get these frames out. Where I'm hung up is that entry is open. So we'll see you in a bit. Other side of playing with it a bit. One thing that maybe would do good is to uh, either fold over the screen on the front end so that it never falls down into the opening on the side you want as an opening. And on the other side, maybe uh, you gotta leave it up got to leave it up a little bit or you're going to smash down the tabs on it and then maybe a piece of tape to uh, better better handle it than your thumbs and then you're, you're cranking it down. The tolerance at the end bars um, on the uprights is right against the uh, cardboard and so if you're in a hurry trying to fill this with frames you'd be rolling bees everywhere. There'd be some angry bees at you. But maybe setting it up as a swarm in the trap like I am trying to will uh, will work for me. Um, just not sure how results will vary. So the screen's nice. Uh, it just really did not want to stay up unless I gave it a fold. So now we've got more... More stuff under the lid right there. I popped open both of the uh, aeration tabs and got screen over those, so it worked pretty good. Now we've got the lure. Uh, I should open the lure and read about it. But I don't know, everything everything smells like beeswax. My fingers my fingers are getting beeswax on them. I was lucky this didn't sit out in the sun too long. The UPS guy delivered early. So what we have here is a pheromone vial. Lure. Do not open the plastic vial. Remove the pheromone from its sealed foil package, but <laughs> not so foily anymore. Uh, should be fastened securely to the inside wall of the trap body, fastened by securing with a T-pin or a nail through the loop. Looks for a loop. Oh, the loop that connects the lid to the body. Check the trap once or twice a week. Transfer, tra transfer captured swarms to a permanent hive. Store unused pheromones your bores in a refrigerator or freezer. 
Well, that answers that question. I was wondering if the freezer would freeze out the, the scent. But they're saying to put it there. So what I'm going to do, throw a lot of plastic into the hive so that the bees go crazy about plastic. Man, they got this triple, triple, uh, Ooh, it's true what they say about these these things. These are triple bagged. Yeah, it smells like. Uh, some people say if you you lure it too much, they they really don't like it. So I'm wondering whether I can just stick the end out of out of the uh, plastic here and, and hang it with the plastic, and that will. I can pretty much do anything I like with that now, so we're going to put that up here. I'm sure there's plenty of places I can wedge it into. There we go. Like the plastic is a little bit of a tab. So, there we go. It does smell like lemongrass. That's, that's a surprise. I better secure this other stuff back in the plastic because it smells like lemongrass too. So, lure is placed, cardboard's all together, place, I don't know if that counts, or what the heck is going to happen there, but it's the lid fits tightly, and uh, the lure is up front, and the bee tree is over my, my left hand side here, so we'll see if they're in fit mood to move in, if they have a swarm ready. Really, I'm starting to like the smell of beeswax. Just <laughs> as a sensory memory, it's just uh, it just means bees. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs>